common problem that we hear from customers around Active Directory is not really knowing who did what. Sure, there are plenty of ways of going pouring through logs and find out who did something in particular, but how about an easy button to get there? Active Roles gives you that. I'm going to show this to you through the MMC, but you could just as easily do this through the web interface. For example, I have a customer call the help desk and say, gosh, I can't get to any of my SharePoint files anymore. And we look at that and go, hmm, I wonder what happened. So what we can do is we can go to the user. This is the person on the phone. And I can click over here and see change history. When I do that, it's going to show me everything that's happened to this user in the last 30, 60, 90 days, however I set that. What I can see here by just taking a quick look is that her department was changed from sales to marketing. And that would probably explain why a bunch of dynamic groups or whatever were changed for that particular user. And that would explain why she has that problem. And we can see when the change occurred right here. And we can also see that this user administrator is the one who did it. So then I could call that person up and say, hey, why did you make this change? Or maybe that change was initiated through HR, in which case the user needs to call HR and figure out why they, they were changed. We can also turn that around the other way. And instead of trying to figure out what was done to somebody, I can figure out what somebody did. So here, let's take a look at administrator, who's the same user I've been using, and I can look at user activity. This will again show me everything that this user did. In this case, we're going to see the exact same change, but the other direction. We can see that administrator here changed this. That way, if I have an administrator or somebody inside the environment who's doing something and I'm not sure what they're doing, I can use this interface to find out what they did. This is also useful if we start extending this out to regular corporate end users. So we can look and, and see what somebody did over the last period of time.